I have written every single topic that you will need for your GCSE Maths on one piece of A4 paper. As you can see on the page now, there are a lot of them. So I would like you to use this as a checklist to see if you're ready to take your exams. So starting off number topic in red, ordering numbers, using these symbols, bid mass, place value, all the fraction stuff, so adding, subtracting, times divide, mixed numbers, all that kind of stuff, simplifying fractions, recognising inverse operations, so times and divide are inverse of each other, factors and multiples, HCF and LCM, prime numbers, square numbers, cube numbers, triangle numbers, systematic listing, powers and roots, estimating roots and powers, indices, laws, thirds, what in terms of pi means if you have to leave your answer in terms of pi, standard form, fractions, decimals, percentages, converting, recurring decimals, conversion, standard units, general estimation, calculations, rounding, decimal places and significant figures, bounds, upper and lower and error intervals. Algebra, everything in blue is algebra. Simplifying algebra, substitution, expressions, equations, identity, formula, basically all the definitions of what each of those are. Inequalities, formulas, terms, expanding, factorising and collecting like terms. Back up to the top, factorising quadratics, difference of two squares, rearranging formula, change the subject, algebraic proofs, interpreting functions, so like what do they actually mean, inverse functions and composite functions. Within algebra we have some graph stuff, coordinates, plot graphs, y equals mx plus c, what does the m mean, what does the c mean, parallel and perpendicular lines, gradients, y-intercept, identifying roots on a graph, normally a quadratic graph, completing the square, turning points, so finding them and also using completing the square to find them, drawing and interpreting straight line graphs, quadratic, exponential, reciprocal, cubic and trigonometric graphs. Especially for the higher students, you should know all of those. Translations and reflections of these graphs and how to show them algebraically. Plotting and using speed time and distance time graphs. Estimating the area under the graphs. Using the circle equation, which is centered at the origin. So x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. Equation of a tangent to a circle. Solving equations of all kinds. So this is when you've got x on both sides, you might have brackets, you might have fractions. Using a graph to find solutions of equations and solving quadratic equations. Up to the next one, still on the algebra topic, quadratic formula, simultaneous equations, substitution, elimination, iteration, and using it to find solutions, creating equations from complicated word problems, shapes or more real life examples, solving inequalities, this could be linear or quadratic, and then showing those inequalities on a number line. And finally, within algebra, sequences, generating or continuing sequences, so recognizing the terms, linear nth term or quadratic nth term. Finally, orange is ratio, proportion and rates of change, topic number three. Unit conversions, so converting between metres, kilometres, stuff like that. Compound units, compound measures, scale factors, scale diagrams, scale maps, ratio notation, so basically how to use them, how to simplify them, stuff like that. Using ratios in an actual example, relating ratios to fractions, compare two numbers using percentages, percentage change and reverse percentages, Simple interest, compound interest, direct proportion, inverse proportion, algebraic proportion, so using, doing direct and inverse proportion with algebraic examples. Let me know in the comments if you're not too sure what I mean by that. Similar shapes and using scale factors, linear area and volume scale factor, calculating rates of change of curves and growth and decay, kind of like compound interest, but more example based. Green, geometry and measure. Vertices, edges, planes, right angles, polygons, regular polygons, lines of symmetry, all of those terms you need to know what they mean. Rotational symmetry and finding them. Loci, so you've got all the perpendicular bisectors, all that kind of stuff. Alternate angles, corresponding angles, and also co-interior angles comes into it, so the parallel line rules. Deducing the sum of angles in any polygon, so that's a triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, and so on. Names of the quadrilaterals, there's six of them. Names of triangles, there's four of those, and names of different types of angles, acute, obtuse, and so on, there's four. Congruency and all the rules that follow with that. Pythagoras' theorem, the four transformations, let me know down below what they are. Negative and fractional scale factors within the enlargements of that. Invariant points and lines, what does it mean? Labelling a circle, there's nine labels on a circle that you should know, including the centre, circumference, stuff like that. Circle theorems, seven or eight of those. Plans and elevations of shapes. So here's a 3D shape. What's the front plan and side elevation of that? What does it look like? 
bearings, 3D shapes, volume, surface area, area of a circle, circumference, surface area and volume of spheres, cones and pyramids. You may be given the formula sometimes, but I would recommend learning it just in case. Area and perimeter of compound shapes, trigonometry, exact trig values, sine rule, cosine rule, higher only. Area of a triangle using the half AB sin C. Vectors in 2D and what do they mean? And then adding or subtracting with vectors or maybe multiplying by a certain constant. Purple is probability. Probability trees and tables. Understanding the concepts of fairness, bias and randomness. What do they mean? The probabilities of a scale from 0 to 1 in decimal form or 1 to 100% as a percentage. Probabilities adding to 1. So in a whole experiment the probability should add up to 1. Large sample gets more accurate results, so understanding different sample sizes and how they affect results. Venn diagrams, independent events, dependent events, conditional probability, two-way tables, and set notation, so A intersection B or A union B. Uh, this is the universal set, the little E sign, and then A to the C, or with a little dash sometimes is A complement, which means not A. And then final one, statistics on the far right. Capture, recapture. Understanding sample limitations, frequency tables, bar charts, pie charts, pictograms, line graphs, group data, histogram, cumulative frequency, box plot, interpreting graphs, all of those you should be able to draw and comfortably analyse. Mean, medium, mode and range is a classic one. Make sure you know that within a frequency table and on a sequence. Interquartile range, IQR, so that could be lower and upper quartiles as well, as well as outliers, identifying outliers within some data. Scatter graphs and the correlations that come with them, positive, negative and none. Line of best fit and extrapolating data. That is every single topic that you need for those GCSEs. So let me know in the comments if you found it useful. If you have any questions, what does something mean? Please let me know and I will get back to you.